he didn't. And it was just because I think the emotion of the game, something that's very difficult to prepare for. And, and, and like I said to you many a time, at the course of this uh, uh, broadcast, it's, it's, they're not 25 points better. Tonight they were. They played tomorrow. It could be a totally different game. It could have been a four or five, two point game for all we know. Because this Midtown team is well coached. Okay, great coaches over there, great administrators over there. Chris Merkin, personal friend of mine, it was a pleasure to coach under her three years ago. And they do a wonderful job. And they'll be back next year. Midtown certainly are always, no matter who's on the roster, no matter who's coaching the team, they always seem to be in this situation or be one of the better teams in the city. And the same thing with 14 of Labor Midtown going back almost almost 20 years. They're a regular participant in this game. As the final shot is no good in the final boom goes off in the second year in a row. The Jaguars of the Eagles of Esco Sky are your Bale Retro Champions. The final score is 45, 46-27. You'll see both teams shaking hands. So of good sportsmanship. The Lesko cheerleaders and mascot coming out to congratulate the champs, back-to-back -back champs. If you're gonna sum up this game, this game was decided in that 9-1 opening of the first quarter. It just seemed like Midtown couldn't get into their flow of their offense. They missed a couple easy looks that they normally would make that would have been very beneficial for them to stay in that game. And to Oresco School's credit and Coach Zazowski and Paul Mulcahy and the rest of his teammates, Shane Paradine, Jordan Diaz, excuse me, Jared Diaz, Anthony Flynn, they all had a role in, in this, into this, tonight's performance. And like I said, it's not a one-man show, total team effort, but the main guy that got it done, once again, was Paul Mulcahy. Mulcahy caps off a stellar grammar school career with his second straight championship, and the team has won two in a row. Oresco. Mulcahy still undecided on where he'll be continuing his career in high school, but he seems to have a bright future no matter where that is. As we see second place trophy being awarded to Midtown head coach Jen Mayo, accompanied by Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Patricia McGee. And Looks like another photo Exper coming up. Experiencing with. both sides of this coin, being uh, uh, on, on the winning side a couple times and being on the losing side once, it's it's a ve it's very very difficult. Uh, 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 I I I really feel for for, for Jen Mayo and, and for that coaching staff right now. It's a very tough time. Those kids that gave everything they had. Conversely, Coach Zazowski. Let the celebration be begin. All that hard work, all the hours of practice, all those sessions really pays off tonight. And those kids realize now why they had to do all those things for a game like today where they can come out and perform the way they did for four quarters and win their second consecutive championship. We see Dr. McGinn and Mr. Leo Smoke, Dr. Dennis Degan assisting in the Distribu distribution of the participation trophies for Midtown. And on the Oresco sideline, Coach Zazowski celebrates with his daughter. I, I watch the staff at Midtown, and, 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 and I really, it just goes back to a few years ago. Chris Merkin and Pat Dubeck, they put so much time and effort and care so much about these kids. 
it's really good to see them right down there helping out and just you know offering their you know I don't want to say condolences but just offering their appreciation and and their comfort in this in this situation because it is a very difficult time right now for those kids without a doubt I remember you know being in, involved in this game when we lost we lost out of buzzer beat and it is just it, it is heartbreaking because this means a lot in for you at this time especially in this town being having to compete against these kids in other sports compete against them in the high school level you know those burger lights definitely mean something absolutely it said everything you know and, and I, I heard Phil Baccarella say this the other day when he was at the armory that, that, that the armory to him when he was in high school was, was their Madison Square Garden well, well this is the Madison Square Garden to these kids it's on TV it's being broadcast it's being announced there's music there's cheerleaders there's bands I mean, it's a, it's a tremendous amount of pressure on these 13, 14, and 15-year-old kids. And, and I got to give Midtown credit. They didn't stop competing. They kept playing. They kept fighting. And I said that's an attribute to the coaching staff and Jim Mayo and Frank Iosa. Unfortunately, tonight, it just wasn't meant to be. And some of that had to do with nerves and, and anxiety. And also, a lot of it had to do with the fact that Coach Zaski had a well-oiled machine led by Paul Mulcahy. Darius Hillis was named MVP for Midtown. Very well deserved. No question, well deserved. Fantastic game and a terrific young player. Looking forward to see him and track him in his future. As now, presentation has been made of the team trophy. And now we'll see each individual player from the West Coast. And there's a lot of them as this team is very deep, as we said, going up to receive their individual awards. And I know, I would think Coach Zaski would agree with me too. When you're a coach, you, you, sometimes, you know, getting that athlete is, is, is a difference maker. When you're looking at maybe someone who could play real good defense, hey, he's a fantastic hockey player. He may not be the most skilled basketball player right now, but he's got intangibles based on his athleticism that he can help me out and make contributions. A James Ash is an example. A, a Edmund Broderick could be an example. Shane Paradine. All these kids are fantastic athletes. They play other sports and, are, and, and thrive in them, which also helps them be successful on a basketball court. Without a doubt, you all, one thing that Oresco has always seemed to have is a well-rounded group of athletes on its roster. You know, I know going back, they had kids who were outstanding football players as well, outstanding baseball players, hockey, uh, even a little bit of lacrosse, soccer, you know, very well-rounded. So that helps them in terms of experience of playing in a lot of games, with different sports, playing different environments, and also with the athleticism you know, needed to have an impact on basketball. I couldn't agree with you more, Coach. I couldn't agree with you more. And I think that was ultimately the deciding factor in tonight's game. The athleticism of Oresco proved to be too much in the town tonight. Okay, we made league and game MVP very well deserved. Been the key performer all season for Oresco. And he gets his picture taken and a pair of trophies to take home for the mantle. It's always good to see when you have you know great kids from great families come through in, in, in clutch spots. And this is just one of those examples. And I, I couldn't be happier for, for Lisa and Paul Mulcahy being here tonight and, and watching their son perform the way he uh, the way he did. It's it's it, it truly was a was a pleasure to, to watch and uh, it, it was it, it was a wonderful performance, and that will do it here from the Hive as we send you off from the 2014 City Championship game from the, the Boys Elementary. Promise League. me we'll do this again next year because I, I tell you I love working with you. I, I, I think you're too. fantastic. I think Same you're here. fantastic. Love working with you. Want to do it again next year. We have to be here same time, same same place next year. Maybe we'll see the same two teams. You never know. Definitely. If not, we got a pretty good one two years ago with Mary J and with Washington School. So we uh, we have a tendency to, to have some good Remember games. Remember it well. Here. Remember it well. So for my partner Dave Hoppin, I'm Matt Hilatic signing off. I did it again.
Have a good night, everyone.